Hi, and welcome to Muscular. I'm going to show you how to get started locking JavaScript errors from your live production sites in no time. This is the locking script you need to insert on all your pages on your site inside the HTML. There are some advanced options for locking. Automatic integration with Google Analytics registers all JavaScript errors as events in Google Analytics and you can choose whether or not to suppress the JavaScript errors so the user won't be shown that there has an error has occurred. Once you've chosen those, if you don't know what they do, just leave them as they are, they do no harm. Select this script and copy it. Now you go to your HTML editor. If you have some kind of file where you can insert the script so it gets on all your pages on your entire site, do that and just paste it in the header or the configuration file or somewhere so this script is at the top just below the head tag on all your HTML files. You get the best results if you put it at the top. It can be put anywhere on the page. Once you've done that, some time will pass before you get your errors depending on your traffic and the quality of your JavaScript. Once you've gotten errors, they will appear uh, here at Muscular. You view them by clicking view errors and I have a site here that has some errors in it already. Um, first I should tell you that you can create several logs as you saw I changed logs just there. You can uh, rename a log so you can give it whatever name you like if you have one for your production or your staging environment or you have different websites name the log after that you can delete logs you need no longer uh, and the log script is individual for each log so you need a different script if you want to log to a different log okay uh, you can organize the columns these are the columns in the errors. Down here are all the errors. Uh, you can search and there are several pages of errors. Um, let's go to the interesting bit. This error has occurred 29 times last time seven hours ago. When I click it, I can see where in the JavaScript code the error occurred. A lot of information about what browsers and OSs the error occurred on. and what uh, event and when I hover over the event you can see all the details about the event. This is a click event and where the event occurred on this DOM element, in this case a button of some sort. There's also a call stack so you can see the, co the call structure that caused the error. This is somewhat minified JavaScript. Uh, we pretty print minified JavaScript so often you will get pretty printed the line so you can find out uh, where it is in your code. Not all errors have all of this information, most of them do, uh, but because of browser differences and stuff like that it's not possible to get it all the time, but we've done a lot of work to get it as, as often as we can. You can sort, the, so for example I can see we, the, the error that has occurred the most times in my log, the last time it was seen. Uh, the searching is quite nifty. If you want to, for example, only show errors that have occurred on Chrome, I just type Chrome and you can see that I'm only shown errors that occurred on Chrome or in this case has some kind of Chrome text in the error message. Uh, if I want to search further, for example, errors that occurred only on Chrome on Windows 7, I type Windows 7 and uh, now it narrows down the errors further. You can still sort the filtered stuff. Uh, that way you can easily find errors uh, that you're searching for. So I hope this will give you a lot of information about your errors so you can fix them quickly. Please give us feedback on how it works for you and I hope you will have a high quality, low error 
site in no time. Thank you for watching.